everyone, welcome to Molly's Storytime. Today's story is The Hare and the Tortoise, retold by Mary McKinnon and illustrated by Daniel Haworth. Harry Hare loved running more than anything in the world. Every morning, he woke up and went for a run. Then he ran to work, ran around all day, Harry, you're early, and ran home. Everyone said he was the fastest hare around, maybe the fastest hare in history. Harry, you're amazing! Harry was sure of it. Well, you know, I do a lot of training. Tom Tortoise worked with Harry. All day long he heard Harry boasting. He didn't think Harry was so special. I beat my own record again. Harry was always laughing at him, taking your time, Tommy. I'll just run on the spot until you're ready. One morning, Harry was feeling very pleased with himself. He ran to work in record time. I really need some extra heavy shoes to slow me down. I must be the fastest creature in the world, he boasted. Let's have a race to prove it. Come on, who wants to race? Harry couldn't believe it when Tom Tortoise plodded over. I'll race you, Harry, he said quietly. Tommy slow coach, are you serious, asked Harry? You wouldn't even get started. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I mean it, said Tom. Let's have the race next Saturday at 10 o'clock. You choose where to race. Well, we'll all have a good laugh anyway. For the next few days, the animals talked about nothing else. Has Tommy gone crazy? The story was in all the newspapers. It was even on television. trained extra hard. He woke up early in the mornings and went running in the evenings too. He knew he would win, but he wanted to win by miles. He chose a good long course for the race. Tom Tortoise didn't seem to be training at all. Perhaps he thought there was no point. Don't you think you should exercise a little? At last Saturday arrived, all Harry's friends came to watch him race. Tom's friends were there too, but they didn't look quite so happy. It was a beautiful day. Harry saw some television cameras and did a little running specially for them. Tom just kept on talking to his friends. Soon it was time for the race to begin. Harry was already at the starting line. Tom slowly ambled over. Come on, Tommy, let's not start late. On your marks, get set, go, shouted the umpire. Harry raced off, disappeared almost at once. Everyone laughed as poor Tom plodded over the line. As soon as he was out of sight, Harry stopped beside a tree to rest. Just need to catch my breath. After all his early morning training, Harry was very tired. Nobody was looking, he had plenty of time to sit down for a while. He would still win the race easily. His eyes started closing. Why not have a nap? That would make it even funnier when he won the race. He settled down in the shade, soon he was asleep. Meanwhile, Tom Tortoise was slowly making his way along the course. Most of the animals had gone straight to the finish line. Only Tom's friends stayed with him. Nobody saw Harry sleeping under the tree. Hours passed. The sun was setting and the air was cool. Harry woke with a start. <gasps> Where was he? 
Suddenly, he remembered the race. He hadn't meant to sleep for so long, but he could still beat Tom. Harry felt much better after his nap. He did a few stretches, then raced off. He could see the finish line now. There was a huge crowd, and they were already cheering. At that moment, he saw a small brown shell shape coming up to the line. Harry felt cold all over. Surely that wasn't Tom. He ran faster than ever before. Yes, he could do it. The cheering grew louder and louder. Look, it's Harry! Whatever happened to him? Harry dived over the line, but he was too late. Well done, Tommy! Tommy is the winner! Tom Tortoise had won, and he didn't even look out of breath. Thank you for listening, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more great stories.